So, Detective. After finding Jack unconscious at the bottom of the hill, what did you do next in regards to the case? Well, after we transported Jack to the local hospital, we began to narrow in on our suspects and interview some witnesses. Little Red Riding Hood, Boy Who Cried Wolf, Chicken Little, One of the Blind Mice, and Jack's own sister Jill were the primary suspects. Each witness had their own story to tell, with their own twist. First to speak was Little Red, a spunky young girl obsessed with the woods. Wait, aren't you supposed to have a hood? I don't wear it all the time. My apologies. Tell us what you saw. Well, I was on my way to my granny's house when I saw Jack and Jill walking up the hill. They were going to fill a pail with water from the well at the top of it. When the pail was full, they set it down for a while so that they could rest. Then on the way down from the hill, both Jack and Jill reached for the pail, but Jack pushed her out of the way and said, it's probably too heavy for you. Now, I'm assuming Jill didn't like this too much because the next thing I saw was Jack stumbling down the hill and Jill at the top laughing hysterically. <laughs> Crazy witch wanted to hurt him more than a wolf wants to eat you for dinner. Next to speak was Jill herself. <laughs> Ma'am, please calm down. Tell us what happened. My brother and I have always gotten along. We were going to get a pail of water. Together. After he filled it, we watched the sky. It was beautiful. We were walking home, and, and he grabbed the pail of water. He turned around and he tripped. I was so scared I didn't know what to do, so I started screaming. We moved on to our next witness. Before I give my testimony, you have to promise not to tell anyone, okay? I was walking by the hill, the one Jack fell down, and I saw him go to the well at the top. I personally think wells are dangerous anyway. I mean, you can easily fall in and get stuck, and then what? Anyway, I was sitting, studying under this lovely oak tree when I heard Jack start to walk back down the hill. He was talking about getting the water to his mother's house when, bam, a piece of the sky fell on his head. Ah, oh, not this again. So you're saying a piece of the sky fell on his head? Yeah, a big piece too. I think it was part of a nimbus cloud. A big one. Needless to say, Chicken Little was ruled out as a suspect. We hoped our next witness could give us a better insight. You really called me in to be an eyewitness? An, an eyewitness? Sorry, that happens a lot. I'm blind. Of course I couldn't see anything that happened. I'm blind. It was a failure. What the hell am I doing here? What do you want from me? Jack and Jill? Yeah, I know them. Nice kids, but uh, they don't know how to have any fun. They're always out doing errands for their mother. Uh, no wonder why, they must be tired and the kid was found unconscious. Uh, if you ask me, I don't think Jack fell down. I think that little Red did it. Uh, she's had a temper ever since she beat the snot out of that wolf. Did you see little Red commit the crime? Of course I did. I, I wouldn't say it if I didn't see it. We're not saying we don't believe. But we need more than just an accusation. Wait, Jill didn't tell you? She was there with him. Or did she give you the excuse, oh, it was, it was an accident? You sound pretty definitive. You sure you're not crying wolf? What the f is that supposed to mean? That was one time! One f time and I'm labeled for life! Due to his rude nature, the boy had to be escorted out of the interrogation room. This just in. Sources have told us that Jack, a local boy who fell down Fable Hill, has finally woken up from his coma. We report live with Brian Thompson. Thank you, and I'm here now to hear Jack's side of the story. Jack, can you tell us what happened? I don't know. I really don't remember much, but all I know is when I started going back down the hill, I tripped over a wooden pole or something. After hearing Jack's comments, we decided to revisit an old friend. Hello? Uh, yes, hi. We'd like to ask you a few more questions. I already told you, I can't see anything. I never said you could. Are you hiding something? Look, I haven't been completely honest with you. I can see 
These are just regular sunglasses. I pretend to be blind so that my fathers don't feel bad. Also, it's just kind of our thing. The day we were walking by the hill, I hit a divot in the grass and my cane fell. I couldn't just bend down and pick it up because then people would know that I could see. So I just kind of left it there and kept walking. Since Jack was not seriously injured and the mouse had no harmful intentions, the case was deemed accidental. However, we did sustain some damage to our interrogation room. But we know who did it. And we booked him. What the f***, man? I didn't do it! This is about the chair! I'll get you a new one! Uh, oh, look, a wall! Oh, oh. Hey! Stop right there! And so the case was closed. Jack and Jill were reunited and all the witnesses continued on with their fairy tale lives. All in all, it was definitely an unseen case. Uh, Get him, Hudson. Uh, you're gonna have your hand back. Pumping the cat eyes. Pick him from one. <laughs> Just restart when you're ready. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> Just watch us. He's actually human. <laughs>